Hello my son, hey everyone, it's Mr Flying Pig HD here, joined by Henry Hosmer. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. I've gone all, I've gone all hot. But <laughs> anyway, hey, just a little match reaction for you for the game of football that we just watched. Everton versus Manchester United at Wembley Stadium in the FA Cup semi-final. It's finished 2-1 to Manchester United in the 90 minutes. Anthony Martial popping up at the end there. By the way, apologies to anybody listening to this through, through headphones. That must be pretty bad. Must be pretty loud. That's yes. pretty bad. But um, I mean, they can't hear you saying sorry now, though, can they? So. <laughs> no, no. Rest in peace. <laughs> but uh, but uh, fantastic goal at the end from Anthony Martial. Assisted by Ander Herrera, who just came on. He actually fluffed it, didn't he? Um, but it was uh, Phil Jagielka had an yeah, absolute mad deal with it. You can see he looked guilty at the end. I do feel sorry for the lad. He hasn't had a terrible game, but you know, in a way, he's cost Everton there at the end. Everyone was expected to go to extra time. Everyone was just gearing up for their little sort of afternoon tea or whatever it is that you like to do at home, ready for that extra <laughs> time, biting your nails or whatever. But no, it's all wrapped up there, isn't it? Just with that little moment of magic, Martial at the end. Fantastic. Celebrating finish. with the fans. I love to see that as love well. Love to see that passion. Um, from Anthony Martio at the end there. It was a great game of football though, wasn't it? Great game of football. Uh, first half was end-to-end, -end, lots Second of chances. Lukaku's had a couple of really key chances early on, if not for a couple of poor, poor touches. Could have been a different story. A very open game of football. Everton had a lot of chances. United had a lot of chances. I'd say up until about the 50-minute mark, Manchester United looked like the strongest side, but then Everton just started piling on the pressure, getting numbers forward. They got a penalty, of course, uh, which, which David De Gea saved majestically. Mauro uh, Fellaini with a fantastic goal as well. Lovely finish from him. I thought he was really good today, getting himself about throughout the entire game getting his head on the ball uh, breaking up play as well some key challenges at last ditch challenges Marouane Fellini he's right up there for me with a shout for man of the match not quite but I thought it was a fantastic performance from Marouane Fellini a player who I usually give a lot of stick to got to give a lot of credit to Marouane Fellini today what did you think about Marouane? No, he played well obviously there's the emotion of him having played for Everton previously that that was definitely vivid into into in visual in this today's game. <laughs> yeah. Does that make sense? What I'm saying there. I don't know about that, but um, it was uh, it was a good performance from him against his old side. Anyway, there was quite a few of those uh, sort of battles out there on the pitch. Obviously, Tom Cleverley, ex Manchester United player, had a good good game today at times, and at times also. Uh, made us realise why we got rid of him in the first place. But, um, you know, really happy with the performance out there today because it was attacking. We had a fair bit of possession, but it was also attacking. We had a lot of intent. We were getting runners in behind. Martio was having a lot of joy down the left. Lingard, a lot of joy down the right. Creating chances, setting up chances. Wayne Rooney was playing the Paul Scholes role tonight, and he did that fantastically well. Really impressed by the performance he put in in terms of playing in a deeper role and even made a very key goal line clearance from an early Lukaku chance. So Wayne Rooney... Absolutely great performance from him in that deeper role. Um, really did look very comfortable in there tonight. Do you think that's the future for Wayne, really, for England and potentially and United? get Roy Hodgson in the stands today? So I'm sure he's, you know, he had a little bit of a smile on his face, misses that far or whatever. <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting, really. He looked comfortable. He looked very comfortable where he was today, more than anything. He did fantastic. Yeah, um, the the unfortunate equaliser came from a Chris Smalling calamity which I don't know what he was doing there. Delefeu, who, when he came on, it has to be said, was absolutely fantastic. Just they looked so much better with Delefeu in the really side. Good. Yeah, he's a good player, he is. Had he? a hand in all of their good play going forward there. And he's put a speculative ball into the box, really. And Chris Ball has not dealt with it. He's shinned it into his own net. It was an absolute calamity and it was shocking. Gave them a chance back into the game. But lucky for us, Anthony Martial, who probably does take my man of the match performance today, crops up at the end there and slots it past the keeper in a Thierry Henry-esque fashion. Um, but what a great performance it was for him, straight from the off, trickery skills, great runs, skinning players, creating chances. He looked dangerous throughout this entire game and he just keeps getting better and better and better and he's so young. Another man up front who's so young today who did ever so well, Marcus Rashford. I mean, Marcus Rashford put in such a great performance. He worked tirelessly. He's got such pace and poise, finding out his teammates. I think the forwards interplay today was excellent. Uh, I mean, much, much better Manchester United performance than we've been tread to most of the season long. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as a, as a Spurs fan, who really gives a shit on your opinion anyway? But there you go. So, uh, but really, <laughs> sorry, mate. But really happy about the uh, the result. Obviously, we're through to the final. At Wembley again, we've got either Crystal Palace or Watford. 
easily winnable game for us, you would like to think. Obviously, anything can happen uh, in 90 minutes out there on a football pitch. But you'd expect Manchester United to have enough to go out there and lift that FA Cup trophy that we've not done nearly enough. I think 2004 is the last time that Manchester United won the FA Cup. Wayne Rooney's never won the FA Cup. That's how long it has been since Manchester United last won it. So... You know, it'd be great to go out and do that, get some silverware. What does this mean for Louis van Gaal? If he can get us a, a, a trophy this season, does he, should he stay in the job? I personally think absolutely freaking not. But you were saying earlier, you think the Manchester United board, if we win the FA Cup and maybe do manage to sneak top four, will stick with him. I think there's a good chance they'll be sticking with him anyway. <sighs> well, even if we don't win the would FA Cup? Would they not have made the move by now if they were going to get rid I, of him? I, I would have thought so, but yeah, this board's... Would there not be more talk? I mean, there's a lot of media speculation about him leaving, but there's never anything from United about him leaving mm. at all. I think the players They've are They've always stuck, him, stuck behind him, the players and the board and everybody's always shown their full oh, yeah, support for Van Gaal. In-house... In it's all fine. Yeah. Isn't it really with the Louis van Gaal? But I'm sorry, but even if we win the FA Cup, if, we, if we're not challenging for the Premier League trophy... If you get trophy, top four and you win FA Cup though... Yeah, no, it's, it's a decent season. Thanks very much, Louis, for, for just about achieving what you should have done. We're satisfied. Piss off. That's what I think. Right. Um, but anyway, this is a day of celebration, of course, because Manchester United have got through to the FA Cup final uh, on, I think it's May 23rd, end of the season there, where it's being played. And I, for one, I'm really looking forward forward to that game against Palace or Watford. You've got to be expected to win it. We've got to be expected teams. to lift Make the FA Cup. To We're going to win the freaking FA Cup, lads! Come on! Well, we have to wait well, and see. Yeah, oh God, they're going to get those trolls coming back here after Palace drop us 3-0 in the final, aren't we? I wanted Shit. to talk about Romelu <laughs> Lukaku, mate, because I Go did on, feel talk sorry about for him today. As I was saying during the game, like every every screenshot of him was just like this, wasn't it? Because <laughs> <Yeah>. misses <laughs> the penalty, misses the penalty. There was just, there's just the, I don't know a handful of chances, if not two handfuls loads of chances, of chances that he's just completely. He had loads of chances today. His touch was off. He looked he looked. Phased. It wasn't terrible for me. It was a half bad luck. Like half he should have done a little bit better. Yeah, I mean he's worked his socks off today. He's got himself in really good positions. But it just seemed he just seemed phased by the occasion, in my opinion. He looked, he didn't look comfortable potentially. And uh, I David think, De Gea, what uh, what a game! For again, me. David De Gea, some unbelievable saves from David De Gea today, especially the penalty save. That wasn't fantastic. a bad that wasn't a bad penalty by Lukaku. That was like a a good penalty low down to his, the keeper's uh, right hand side uh, to the left of the goal. If you're Lukaku, and uh, and and really most keepers wouldn't save that, but De Gea's anticipated it. He's got down there. He wasn't right in the corner, but he's made the save. And it was a firm effort by Lukaku. So, great penalty save from David De Gea, which has effectively um, won us the tie today, really. Although, what Everton, actually, him? after the penalty, looked buoyed. And that's where they played the best football. So What happened with him and Lukaku at that moment where it's kind of Lukaku's almost got the ball? Doesn't it? But when I looked at the replay... Oh, yeah, the, when De Gea was just fanning and dilly around. De Gea didn't look phased. He didn't look... I don't know. He just he should have just got the fuck rid of the ball though. Really know what he, he was, was doing. doing. He was doing my nut in there. I was just thinking, yeah. get rid of the ball, David. Um, but anyway, that's that's basically that's basically it. We've beaten Everton. Really good game of football from both sides. Really, they'll be bitterly disappointed to lose in the fashion which they did. But Manchester United have done it in Fergie time. On we go. On we march to Wembley Stadium. Back to Wembley Stadium to face one of those shocking London sides and beat them in the FA Cup final. You heard it here first. Come on, my son! Was it a penalty? Was it a penalty? I'm not so sure. He, I he think it was. It was a good challenge. Okay, it's a bit of a scissor challenge. It was definitely a penalty. The Those scissor made behind. it look worse than it was. He might hit the ball, but he's, he's, he's made contact with the player before he gets the ball. That is a foul. He I don't know. tackle from behind. What, we playing little pussy girl football these days? No, but you, you know, can't, no ta can't tackle from behind. He's not going to tackle from behind. He's, he's, he's tackled from around the he's side. If you hit the it's like a scorpion first. tackle. If you hit the player first, it's like me just kicking you in the face and then like, oh, touch the ball. I don't think he did hit the player first. Well, he did. He he's wrapped did. around we him afterwards. After, after he's hit the ball, he's hit the ball first. No, nah, no, nah, he's made contact first. Oh. Skin is touched skin before well, there skin you is go. touched ball. It doesn't even matter anyway because it was a penalty and they saved. I mean, it was saved, so it doesn't make any difference to the game. But what do you think about that? Was it a peno? Get commented below. Penalty. Did Barkley stud what's his face in the bum? <laughs> no, he didn't. He did. Oh, that was another point of contention yeah, actually. Definitely. And the Herrera. Yeah, um, when he came on, he just, falls over. You reckon he's, he's, he's pulling his shirt? He's fallen and... over like a like a Cinderella or something. I thought he was just going a complete fanny there. Yeah, no, no, he got studded. In the he bun. didn't get studded in the bun, mate. He's just got with the, holes in his bun tube now. It was with the Toby, from, mate, from Ross Barkley's foot. He's barely touched him. Disagree. <laughs> anyway, there we have it. Manchester United through to the FA Cup final. Happy days. 
really just overjoyed about this. After a bad season, it looks like there could be a bit of light at the end of the tunnel for Manchester United, even with that Dutch toad, Louis van Gaal, in charge. Get comments in below with your thoughts on the game and the performances out there. I think generally as a unit, the team's played fantastically well. The likes of Lingard, Rashford, Martial, Rooney, all putting in great performances up top. And defensively, the, the team's been very solid as well. Uh, Fossi meant to look very good before giving away the penalty. And, uh, and Valencia looked very good coming on for him as well. Um, and a very good performance all round, apart from Chris Smalling obviously putting the ball into his own net. But there we have it. Manchester United have come out on top against Everton. It's a huge game of football for us to win. It puts us in the final. We are going to go on and win the FA Cup. If you win the FA Cup, you need to make food in it, use it as a dish, toad in the hole, inside the cup. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, for Louis? Just for Louis. For yeah. King Louis, the, oh, yeah. the toad of toad, 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 toad in the hole. He actually did some celebrating today yeah, as well. He did, he did, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was absolutely overjoyed when that goal writing, went in there. writing stuff, isn't he, now? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely overjoyed when that goal went in there. At the end, I could not contain my excitement. Nearly had a coronary. Nearly had a Sean. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean. did, yeah. Did. Right. That's, that pretty much does it for us. Thanks very much for tuning in. Happy days. Onwards we march. Spurs aren't going to win the FA Cup. And they're not going to win the Premier League either. <laughs> What's better, finishing fourth and winning the FA Cup or finishing second? Fourth in the FA Cup, innit? Well, let's just <laughs> really? see what happens first, yeah? We're Fucking probably not going to finish fourth. Getting well excited, aren't you? Yeah, nothing. Really. Anyway, nothing's uh, happened yet. It's dust. I still want LB, yourself down. I still want LBG to, to leave at the end of the season. I think it'd be a great parting note from him if he won us the FA Cup and managed to get top four. But even if that circumstance presented itself, I'd still want to see him leave at the end of the season. What do you guys think about that? This is Mr. Flying Pig HD. He's been Henry Hotspur. Thanks very much for tuning in. Have yourself a good one. And come on, United! I haven't been Henry Hotspur. I am Henry Hotspur. Am I?